In the morning, there were equal number of buses and vans in a car park. So in the afternoon, 90 buses and 54 vans left the car park. After this, the number of vans in the car park became twice the number of buses in the car park. So how many buses uh, were steering the car park in the afternoon? And for this type of question, we need to draw this model. Okay, it's called before and after. Yes, very good. Guys, why is it before and after? Because there is a change. So we have this in the morning and in the afternoon. Okay, so this in the morning is like before. So in the afternoon, after some of the buses and vans left, so what is left? Okay, and same thing. Um, Jane, we need to highlight the the important information. Okay, so what are the important information? Equal number at first. So in the afternoon, you see ninety buses and fifty four vans left. Then after that, uh, the number of vans became twice the number of buses. Okay, so what does it tell you? It tells you that twice is two times, right? It tells you that now the van is two units and then the buses will be one unit. Okay, so what do you want to draw first? Um, maybe you can start drawing from before. Okay, because for this question, it's quite straightforward. There's quite a lot of information given. So before we have buses and vans, equal number. So guys, equal number, you just need to draw a... Uh, yeah, just draw two, two boxes of the same length. Then after that, we have buses and vans. So the uh, buses now becomes one unit. Okay, so just draw one unit. And guys, this one unit, right, can you all just make sure that it is a shorter unit? Because 90 buses left. Let me change the color so that it won't be... Uh, you see. And you know that uh, the vents will be two units. Okay, so two units means you draw two times as long. Okay, two times as long like this. Then make sure you have. Can you see that you still have this um, two information in 90 and 54 that you have yet to put into your model? You can put it in. So, 90 buses left. So, this number uh, down here is 90. Because initially, you have up to here, right? Then, 90 left, then you, you are left with these smaller units. And for the van, right? This is for, this is 54. Okay. Uh, Jane, you're looking at this model. Do you understand what I'm drawing? Okay, Jane, you understand? Yeah. Bella, do you understand this model? Bella, can you tell me what's the next step? Okay, not sure, is it? Jane, do you know what's the next step? No, 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 no. You must always work with the number. You see the number down here? Okay, guys, why do we draw model? Okay, is to find the unknown. What is the unknown? Guys, can you see that? This is unknown. This is unknown. This is unknown. Okay, and this is unknown. So, usually we call this one unit. Can you see it? Each block of unknown require one unit. Can you see that I can actually find this this small units? Tell us how to find this small pink units based on my model. I'm giving you a hint, ready? How to find this?
Look at the numbers here. 90, 54. So one unit equals to Jane, you are moving. Can you can you just say it out? Okay. So one unit, can you see that is actually you take the longer 90 minus away 54? Can you see? So one unit equals to 90, take away 54. I have 36. So how many buses were there in the in the car park in the afternoon? So buses is just one unit. This is your answer. How many vans were there in the in the car park in the in the morning? So guys, we want to find this long unit, right? For B. How to find this long unit? Can you see? Isn't it one unit plus ninety? Okay. So this is what we do. One unit is thirty six, right? So just thirty six plus ninety. 126. You see, it's a two-step question. So when you draw the model, it becomes very clear. 